Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel for another weekly video. The idea behind this YouTube channel is to help you make better music productions and sometimes to take complicated musical terms and make them easy to understand and also explain a few things in just a couple of words because nobody has time to waste these days. And today we're going to talk about phase and polarity how they are similar, what's different about them, and most importantly, how they can help you obtain a better mix. There are a lot of things to take into consideration in music production, as it is a complex and time-consuming process. And uh, two concepts that are often uh, misunderstood and confused are phase and polarity. And the easiest way to differentiate between these two is to think of how you can use them to manipulate the sound. And when we talk about phase, we talk about shifting the waveform of the sound relative to time. So we can either shift it forwards or backwards. And when we talk about the polarity, the waveform can either be the right side up or it can be upside down. This is where the, the notion of flipping the phase. So phase is basically a concept that represents the uh, sound position in time. And uh, you don't really need to worry about knowing this concept in depth, but what you need to know is that certain issues can come up if you are producing with uh, multi-mic recordings of an instrument or recordings of the same instrument that come through uh, different processing chains. For example, if you have a bass and you are recording that bass through a microphone from the amplifier and you're also recording through a DI box that goes straight to your DAW, then uh, that bass is recorded into two different processing chains. And it is normal that uh, these chains will add a little bit of a delay when it comes to the processed signal. Now, if we put this, um, if we put this uh, recorded sounds together, it will be natural to have a delay between them, and then we can say that these sounds are out of phase. And when the sounds are out of phase, we can have um, audio artifacts that are not desired. And one of these artifacts is comb filtering. Now, when we talk about comb filtering, we need to take into consideration that the musical sound is not just a basic um, waveform of sound. It is composed of uh, different frequencies on different harmonies and these frequencies have different pitches and different uh, volumes as well. Now, if we put those two sounds together and they are out of phase, uh, these frequencies will basically interconnect with each other and some will sound louder or some of them will be attenuated. This is basically comb filtering. And uh, this is one artifact that you want to control in your music production because you want to make your music production sound clean and clear. You want to be able to hear that musical instrument exactly how the musician or how you want it to sound. Uh, when we talk about phase, we also need to take into consideration the routing that you have in your DAW or your uh, mixing desk because when you route to your mixing buses, depending how much processing you have in those mixing buses, you can add delay, but most of the DAWs offer you the uh, option to add the delay compensation. And also you need to be careful what plugins you use on your channels. If you use uh, reverbs, delays, saturators, distortion, this can modify the phase of the audio signal. Okay, now let's say a couple of words about polarity as well. And as I said in the beginning, basically polarity describes the state of the waveform and can either be positive or negative. 
which means upside down. And uh, the good thing about uh, polarity is that most DAWs have a button or a polarity switch that what it does, it basically flips the face to 180 degrees. It basically flips it upside down. But you need to take into consideration that uh, switching the polarity by 180 degrees will not necessarily fix your phase issues because, as I said, the waveform when we're talking about phase can move forwards or backwards. So in a cycle, you can have different positions of the waveform. It doesn't have to be necessarily 180 degrees. It can be less or it can be more. This is why when it comes to phase, you need to open your waveforms on the channel and really pay attention to what the waveform is saying. If you need to flip it forward, if you need to flip it backward, you can also use uh, spectrum analyzers. This will help you avoid issues like uh, comb filtering or it can help you minimize the effects of comb filtering. Uh, sometimes distortion and saturation are uh, present and they are wanted effects but you need to be able to control those so they don't go overhand and they don't get uh, over louded and crowd out your mix and uh, yeah i'm also going to post a uh, short video showing how you can uh, flip the polarity in ableton live if you guys don't know how to do that already So that's about it for the video today. Uh, remember, if you guys have any comments, leave it in the comment section below. Uh, also, if you like the videos, subscribe to my channel. That will help me a lot. And also, if you have any ideas on what videos I can do next, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, that's it for this week. Maybe I will post another video because this one was a little bit shorter. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, thank you everyone for taking the time and watching the videos and stay safe.